Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a short video on how to install your Linksys wireless router. Okay, to start with, on the left hand side here is our Linksys router and on the right hand side is our cable modem for our internet service from our internet service provider. And let's take a look at the rear of both these devices. On the router we have Ethernet ports 1 through 4. We have an internet port and we have a power cable. We have a power cable here and we also have a, um, an internet port here and we also have a cable uh, port or connection here on the cable modem. Alright, to begin with we want to go ahead and hook up the internet cable um, on the router and we plug that into the Ethernet port on the cable modem. Once you get that done we go ahead and take another cable, in this case it's a blue one, and we plug it into one of these Ethernet ports, in this case port 1. And then once you've got those plugged in you do want to go ahead and plug in your power to your router and then over on your cable modem go ahead and plug the power cable into your cable modem. Power both these devices up and once they are fully powered up within a minute or two we want to grab this cable here, the blue one, the other end and we want to plug that into our Ethernet port on our computer or our laptop. Okay once the Ethernet cable is plugged into the router and the computer we can now go ahead and power up the computer and go into the Linksys router configuration. Go ahead and open up a browser and go to this IP address of 192.168.1.1 and you'll be prompted for a user ID and password and on the Linksys routers by default the user ID is admin and the password is also admin and then click OK this will bring you up to your main setup page for your Linksys router by Cisco. And to begin with, there's an optional setting here, the host name. And I like to always put in the name of uh, the router here. My router um, number one is going to work for me. And once that's done, go down and make sure that DHCP server is enabled and then go down and click on save settings and click on the continue button when prompted alright up next is our wireless setup let's click on the wireless tab up top here and we'll go down and click on manual and uh, the first item is the network mode we want to just go ahead and leave that at mix we could change it to G or N or but uh, mix includes all of the uh, modes and we'll leave it at that next item is our name let's go ahead and type in our router name of my router one here that'll work for this demo and then on the radio band we want to go ahead and leave that as standard and then uh, on the channels 1 or 6 or 11 which is um, available in the United States we could choose either one of those but we're going to leave it on auto that'll work just fine here and click on save settings and when prompted let's go ahead and click on the continue button again okay up next we want to go ahead and work on our wireless security we want to protect ourselves here and we want to enable security mode so we'll click on the drop down here and click on WPA2 personal and this is good protection for most home networks so we're going to work with that and uh, let's go ahead and give it a uh, passphrase um, for this demo let's say uh, tests one two three four five that would be good enough and we'll click on save settings and when prompted again click on the continue button alright um, up next we want to go to administration and to protect the access into this configuration we can change the password from admin to any password we like because by default it is admin and once you do change it 
um, click on the save settings and uh, that'll work just fine okay well thanks for watching this is Nick with Nick's computerfix.com and please subscribe